To all of my fellow brothers and sisters, peace be with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Ben and I welcome you to the Restored Ephraim Publications channel. Today, uh, I would like to talk about that the, the living the Lord's way uh, would solve a lot of problems in our society. The fullness of the Lord's way is, is what we call the United Order. It also goes by the, the name Zion, which refers to the purity of heart. Uh, it's also called the Law of Consecration, which is that you consecrate all things to the Lord. Now, look at t today's society. And we are all deeply drowning in it. And all the problems that we have, a, a, a lot of them would be fixed uh, if we were living in the United Order. Now, our problems are rooted in human nature. And so there, there will always be problems because as long as these things are rooted in our, our nature, then they'll simply be. But we can reduce the amount of them by living the United Order. And that is exactly the intent that, that the, the Lord has, is to show us how to, how to live in the right way so that we can have the fullness of, of blessings and prosperity and, and happiness and peace if we will choose to, to keep it. But if that's not what we want, then the Lord allows us to do whatever we want because he's given us that free agency. But along with that comes with all the problems. If we choose to go against what the Lord says that we should do. Now, uh, one thing that Satan really likes to do is to is to divide everybody into into groups and, and and such. But what the Lord really wants is everyone to become united, and we all get trapped into thinking of division because that's just it's just the way that that we're brought up but uh, in, in, in truth what the Lord really wants is is unity but we cannot be unified on on false or bad principles now uh, one thing that I would like to talk about is let's look at our, our homes in, in, in Babylon. Uh, typically there is a, a, a father and a mother with children. And this is just the standard home inside Babylon. Now, Babylon will also have a whole bunch of different other ideas about a, a, a family. But we know that, that those things are in opposition to the, the will of the Lord. But what people don't understand is, is that the, the way that Babylon does everything it's it's not right under the Lord's system and so let's just look at the, the, the standard that most people have uh, because they are under the impression that that this is the, 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 the way that the Lord wants it done when the truth is is that what we do in Babylon is a a mixture of truth mingled with error and we have to root out the error out of our system 
So going back to we have a father, a mother, and children. Uh, the size of the uh, of, of the of this family doesn't doesn't matter. So in in, in today's world, we we have the the father leave the home to work. Uh, in some situations, uh, you have the the woman stay home, or sometimes the the woman also uh, the the mother leaves home as well to work. And you have children. Uh, if if um, the mother stays home, then she, then then she uh, usually. Uh, watches and takes care of the kids while the father is off working to provide for his family and the uh, the or if if uh, the the mother d does work and she has children then she has to hire out babysitters or put them in in some type of daycare center or bring them to, to somebody else and then the children uh, they go off to school and when we look at this we, we see nothing wrong with that but in actuality it's, it's, it's not in keeping with the Lord's will and is the exact opposite of having a united order. So firstly, uh, we have the father who leaves home to, uh, to, to work to make money. Uh, right away this creates a division between the husband and the wife. Now it's not wrong for the the, the the father to go out to to take care of things that need to be taken care of that's his responsibility but in the in the in the main thing is is that the the united order is about unity and so under the lord's system the the, the father would be given a stewardship by the lord and then he's responsible for that and his wife is a helpmeet for him or more literal English a helper opposite uh, uh, to him and uh, she and they have the responsibility of of taking care of the stewardship together and again that doesn't mean that they can't have separate uh, responsibilities within the United Order but the the stewardship belongs to to, to the man and and typically uh, husband and wife would work the stewardship together uh, together because uh, his, his wife or wives uh, were to help him to to deal with that so it's creating more unity between husband and wife in working together. Uh, now look at at, at, at mothers. Uh, women by nature uh, need to have a group of women in, in order to, to to first off they're social creatures they, they need to have uh, female companionship working with them in order for them to, to, to truly be happy and uh, by Babylonian standards since Babylonians don't want to practice polygamy uh, women are isolated if, if, they, if they stay at home they're isolated at home and doing everything by themselves and that's further compounded if they have to go outside the house to work and 
that it's contrary to the nature that they have. Now, uh, under the United Order system, it is uh, you have a group of, of families, and it's like one big family. And so, uh, uh, ignoring the the concept of, of polygamy uh, in in the Lord's kingdom, and let's just say we just have one husband, one wife. Uh, all the all the women in the United Order uh, was. Uh, they, they wouldn't be alone because they would be doing their responsibilities together. And so you have a, a group of, of, of women cooking, a group of women making clothes, groups of women taking care collectively of, of children. And so in that in itself is truly a benefit to women who are under the Babylonian system are completely abandoned uh, to themselves, unless they have like a an awesome uh, mother who is willing to help them or a sister, uh, they they are generally left to do everything that needs to be done by themselves. Which is why they rely on the the corrupt Babylonian economic system, which is also in opposition to the Lord's will, because. The, the Lord wants us to make the things that we need. And the, the purpose of the United Order is to collectively uh, make everything together that we need and what excess we produce is, is given to the Lord so that he can care for the poor to those who have need. And so uh, just there, under the United Order, husband and wife have mo have more unity, and you have uh, men working with other men uh, in order to to do the things that they need to do, and you have women working together uh, in order to take care of the things that they need to do, and so there's more unity, which is what the Lord wants, and they're doing everything together. So they're making things on their own, and they're not relying on the Babylonian system. Now, the children. Uh, we've gotten the idea into our heads that it is a good idea for the government to teach children the things that they, they need for the society. And that is the Babylonian system and it is the complete opposite of, of what the Lord wants. And uh, under the, the Lord's United Order system, uh, it is parents' responsibility to teach their children. But in the United Order, the uh, the, 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 the all the all the parents are in unity and so uh, parents in, under the Babylonian system who don't want to put their kids rightfully so into uh, the government school systems or or any school system uh, then you have the problem that that children tend to be isolated from other children. But under the, the Lord's United Order system, the parents teach their children, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's about bringing the children together for learning under the parents themselves. And so we, the United Order would have its own type of of, of school system uh, run by parents who were given that stewardship and it would be done as uh, as uh, collectively through the parents within the United Order so they're not sending their children outside of the United Order to be taught by Babylonians 
um, under the Lord's United Order system, be, because we're not focused on greed, uh, a man would only have to work in a fully functional United Order system. He would only have to work four hours a day to provide for the things that his, his family would need. And this also because the Lord would greatly bless uh, the, the, the system. And so a, a man would have more time to better himself and more time to be involved in the, the, the order's uh, uh, governance system, uh, more, uh, spend more time with wives and children and and be better able to do all the things that that needs to be done whereas in Babylonian systems men have to work at least eight hours a day in, in order to get what they need uh, most of them uh, a, a lot of people have to have multiple jobs now because of how how bad the economy is and so people are spending all their time just trying to provide uh, what they need and so they have no time to better themselves they don't have time to be involved with with uh, government systems and they don't have time to be involved in the community in, in, in order to oversee and make sure things are done right in the community And so just right there, that would fix a lot of problems if just on focusing on the family aspect of the United Order, uh, men wouldn't waste away their, their, their lives, uh, spending all their time just to, to, to meet ends meet, and they'd have more time to better themselves. Uh, women wouldn't be alone and abandoned uh, children would be united and, and taught by by parents of the order uh, so they wouldn't grow up to, to be trained in the Babylonian system uh, which leads to their enslavement and and, and that's just uh, one aspect if you if you look at the United order system uh, uh, under this system, uh, the, the the poor have exactly what they what they need in order to to, to, to live and do what they need to do. Be because instead of everybody focusing on themselves, uh, everyone collectively is is trying to lift each other up, and so. Uh, this would solve a, a lot of problems in crime because uh, some people are motivated to steal uh, because uh, they, 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 they need things. Uh, some people just steal to steal, but a, 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 a large number of people steal because they, they, they're not making what they need and they, they, they feel that's the only way they can get what they need. And so uh, a, a lot of, of, of that type of crime would be done away. And um, because uh, in the United Order, it's about making everything yourself. You're not focused on, on uh, mercantilism. So you make what you need, and if you have left over, then you, then, then you give it to the Lord as surplus so that he can care for the poor. And so you're, are, it, it, it would create a lot less stress that we have because everyone's trying to, in the Babylonian system, everyone's trying to get ahead. And... Uh, and, and only thinking of themselves where in the United Order we're trying to lift each other up 
And so that, that's just a, a small aspect of, of the blessing that would come upon us if, if we had chosen to, to keep the united order instead of adopting the Babylonian system. And, and there's so much more that the Lord uh, wants to give to us as, as blessings, but he can't until we, we, we train ourselves to live the united order. Uh, if, if, if we were living the united order, the Lord would bless our crops so that they would provide more abundantly uh, than they would if we were not. So there would be an abundance of, of food. Uh, there, and, um, uh, and, and that would also lead uh, to, to, to greater caretaking uh, for, for those who, who had need. And um, under the, 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 the United Order system, there would be no debt because debt is actually contrary to, to the Lord's law. Uh, and the, what the Lord, the Lord does not want us to be in debt to our enemies. And when he talks about the enemies, he's, he's referring to the Babylonian system. And so right now, everyone has, or most people have, have more mortgages and a huge amount of debt everywhere. And, and, and this is financial slavery. Uh, the, the Lord does not want us to be in debt to our enemies under the United Order system. Uh, instead, uh, in the United Order, we would have the ability to to, to sell and and lend to those outside of our of our order, but we wouldn't need to borrow from from those outside our order, and uh, and that would be the case in a fully functioning uh, United Order system. And so I, I, w I want you to think about these things and, and see that everything that the Lord wants us to do, it would make our lives better. And, and, and we need to, to train ourselves to start thinking that way uh, because the, the time is growing short uh, do I believe that a form of the United Order can still be lived in this day? Uh, I do. I don't have time to explain in this video. I, I do want to explain it in the future. Uh, we could at least have some form of, of the United Order. Uh, it wouldn't be a full one, at least not right away. Um, because we're, we're Because we've become so enslaved in Babylon uh, we are dependent on on the satanic money system and as, as long as we require that there, there would be some dependence on Babylon uh, because it, if only because of property taxes, which is more like a surf tax, and um, but uh, I'm, I don't have time to, to cover that, but I will in the future. And I leave this with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.